We're going to be starting an experiment. The video is going to be testing water absorption rates in posts, three different types. Char, oil, base, standard. This here board was donated by Roger and James again. Yes. Cheers, buddies. We're going to be doing one, two, three, maybe four. Wood. Base. Oil. Char. We're going to do start weight in kg. Week one. Week two. Week three. Let's weigh these. 5.7 kgs. 5.1 kgs. And last but not least. Crocs. No. Char. 7.6 kg. Right, let me explain. Just over a year ago, I got fencing posts for doing fencing around the yard and I dipped them in waste oil to, per, to help preserve them. I've, I, the question was asked was how deep did the waste oil penetrate in, in, in two weeks? And it started me thinking I could do a test and see. I was going to base the test on the standard post as I bought it like you would buy it of a hardware shop and treated in oil. My, I explained to my brother who was home from America at the time on holidays what I was going to do and he suggested why do you not char it? It's a natural way of preserving wood. So up until the other night this post looked like this post. I couldn't justify spending almost 90 pounds on a burner that I would probably never really use so what I did was I went on to eBay and I bought this yoke now there's a safety message in this let me explain when the burner was purchased it, it arrived with the lance three jets and the red hose there was a threaded thing where you just screw it into a tank which was no good to me because I was planning on using a I don't know what type of gas it is, it doesn't burn as hot. It's the type you would do uh, home cooking with or heating the house with. One of these ends I needed. But this here has a, has a thing in this, it's called a flashback arrester. Had I have just fitted the tank and botched the yoke onto it, it would have worked fine. But Connell assured me that the risk of exploding the tank would be pretty high don't know what percentage but not worth the risk so this is what I wrote this down for flashback arrester device anti flashback device this is a flashback arrester without this at a low flame it, you could have, it could have went up the pipe into the cylinder and kaboom and it wouldn't have been, I would far rather be arrested than blown into the breath of rain. Think about it before you buy. So the base one was one of the originals from last year, 5.7 kilos. The one dipped in oil for two weeks, it's 5.1 kilos. And the, the one that, that I've been waiting on, and it's been, it's been in with them, they've been treated exactly the same, but it's like six months behind, 7.6 kilos. They have been inverted, so they're all pointy bit to the top. This is the bit that will ultimately be in the ground of whatever it's been used. Guaranteed for 15 years. I don't believe it, but we'll see. In time, we'll see. Uh, let's see how much moisture they hold. Let's get this thing ready to see how much moisture they hold. If there's a better way of doing this, look, there's probably going to be a few flaws. It's just a... It's just a 
an experiment. Homesteader style experiment, not scientist style experiment. So go easy on me. I am at the end of it going to cut open a post and see how deep the oil has soaked in in a period of two weeks. Uh, note that there was a lot more moisture in the post whenever I first dipped them in oil. Um, this is just unraveling as we go, literally. And we're off. You've probably noticed this in the background, a couple of the shots. That the difference in the colour, treated, non-treated. Anybody, any ideas what it is? Write in the comments below. Y y before we get into it, yes it is firewood. What was its other use before? It used to be round and tall. I'm not going to say it today. For me, I'll tell you in about three weeks. But for you, five minutes. Keep watching. 39, 39. Base one, one in the name of science. Look at that there, the mic stand, eh? eh? I'll explain in a minute. Right guys, we're just about 24 inches. We're done, we are 24 inches. Run. We're going to put these in here, let the, the test begin, and then I'm going to push them in as far as I can, back them up with this, and then put nails in that should keep it in place. Oh, he's a deer. That's these old yellow hammers, eh? A couple of misses. Not to worry. idea is to get the nail to the outside of the drum which should stabilize it all in the name of science eh she can jiggle about but she can't fall over the stage is set let the experiment begin just check in in a week see you then we're day eight into the experiment we're gonna cut them open separate them and weigh them to see if there's any difference they haven't moved. I haven't moved an inch. Mightn't be so handy got into that again. short for charcoal 8.2 this is the one like out of the crate bought out of the builders merchants as most of you would probably buy untreated well pressure treated up to some sort of a degree just the way the the, the sales pitch is for it so 6.5 That's plus 7 Hang on Plus 0.7 Plus 0.3 Plus 0.6 The oil is having an effect out the gate, jumped straight into the lead with a low of 0.3 kgs of gain. Week two. Measurement time. It's 
6.6 standard post. Eight point three charcoal post oil post five point eight fixing the correction. That there was a mistake. I fixed it. It was plus point eight of a kilo. Plus 0.3 of a kilo and plus 0.6 of a kilo. Now we're plus 0.2 weekly gain. Now we're plus 0.3 and we're plus 0.1. So, guys, as you can see, oil is holding us steady. It's still absorbing moisture, but look, I need to show you this. I'll show you in the standard post. If you look closely, at the time they were first treated, there's loads of small holes. That's right around it. Probably about 40 inches. Good, 40 inches, just a bit more than half the post. That is so that, I reckon, so that the, the, the whatever they put into it to treat it, or the pressure treating, pr I don't know what it is. That's probably what helped it get in which made the post be guaranteed for five, 15 years. I still don't think they're going to last 15 years, but what do you think? Another week has passed, for me anyway. Maybe 30 seconds for you. Let's have a look and see what we've done so far. Right, the standard post was the first post. Started out at 5.7 kilograms. The f after week one, it had gained 0.8 of a kilogram. And after week two, it had gained another plus 0.2. So that's total after two weeks of one kilogram. The oil started in point was 5.1 5 .1 kilograms, plus 0.3, plus 0.3, total 0.6 of a kilogram. It's still absorbing moisture, but at a slower rate, a third less. Or 0.4 less if you want to get charcoal 7.6 it was the one that my brother spoke to me about and says you should try one shard so it was out of a different batch and like six months behind the other ones hence the extra weight but it it was still inverted so the pointy end was up it's now turned around and the pointy ends in the water so it should still be taking moisture at a good rate Proofs in the pudding, eh? It had a weekly gain of 0.6 of a kilogram and it gained 0.1 of a kilogram. So totaling base is 1 kilogram, oil is 0.6 and charcoal is 0.7. Let's see what it's like now. First one out was the charcoal. This way. Eight point four. The standard post is base post is six point seven. The oil base post is five point seven. Right, guys, this is getting interesting. Two out of three posts have risen with moisture levels and weight gain. They have now flatlined. We're waiting on one. With a with a, a weight gain of 0.1, and it was the charcoal, so it was 8.4, 8.4, and it had a weekly weight gain of plus 0.1. The base plate is fully fully saturated. It was 6.7 kilograms, and it had a weekly weight gain of plus nothing so plus zero the uh, oil hat was similar result it was 5.7 same as the week before with a weekly week gain of plus plus point zero so guys i'm going to use the twg as totally weak gain and we're going to 
Total, 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 total. And I actually think we should give it another week to see does the charcoal flat line add a bit, add a bit total absorption rate and we'll see what the crack is. I don't know what you think, but well, if you're still watching it, you probably are as interested as what I am. Starting to get a wee bit excited. Um, one more week, it'll give me time to edit the video and we'll conclude uh, the results. And if anyone wants to, to put it on a on a XL, work away. I would like to see it. I wouldn't have a clue how to do it, but knock yourself out, as the man would say. Guys, one more week. If you're still watching, we're 15 minutes into the video. So what I have done, because I have edited it so far, I've went ahead and I've measured, took the weights of these. So base has gained another plus two from week three. Oil has gained another plus two from week three. And char has gained another 0.1 from week three. At the end of this test, the post total gain is 1.2 for, for the base for the standard post out of the builder's merchant. For the oil it's 0.8 and for the charcoal post the natural preservative is 0.9. Oil's in the lead yeah right. What do you see what this was? I talked about totally weight gain. Total weight gain. So the whole idea was this was where we started. <coughs> Got the cold up excuse me. This is where we started. This was the total number. If you add this one to this one, that is water absorbed after week one, we come with this one. Let's go that out there. It's looking messy. So we take this one and this one after week two, the total moisture absorbed was 0.60 kilos. We should end up 0.6 more than week one. And so on. And so on. Now, there's a couple of things I need to address with this video. In week two, I said 6.6. The video, the camera was outside looking in at me. I measured the three posts. I didn't write them down. <coughs> I had the brainwave that I would measure them again off camera and write them in. It was to save me a moving the camera back and forth. But the weight changed. It was 0 0.6, 5, 6.6, 5.8, and 8.3. I wrote the 8.3 in here. And then you just go fix the correction. Little did I know that I was already wrong because it came in, that one came in heavier, and that one came in lighter. It must be the scales. Guys, if you're going to be measuring yourself, use the, uh, the waistband. Not the not the weight bri the weigh bridge. <coughs> Aye, and you'll see that at, at on the tenth minute. What else have we here? Very unprofessional, but I've been sick the last three days. Uh, COVID. There is such a thing. We're going to open a post. We'll do that in a minute. This here, guys, is the actual flashback arrestor. If you watched earlier in the video, I talked about the flashback arrestor going to get blow, would rather be arrested than blown to a bitherine. This is what it actually looks like. This is the, pace, the special piece. <coughs> Got it off Connell. This pole, who guessed telegraph pole, electricity poles. Let's measure. 90 millimeters. And there's another thing. Before we cut the post open, I want to show you. If you look at this, see this white line? It's only my racket in there, but I reckon that's the micro mycorrhizal fungi starting to take grip. <coughs> what that's going to do is rot the wood. That's the start of the, the organism starting to rot it down. Right guys, when I first started this experiment, and the guy asked me to cut a post open, I was like, 
No way am I cutting a post open at four pound sixty. I might need that post. That's how tight things are. But what do you hear? When Trevor's up the second wave of digger work, that I hope you are all watching and enjoying. <coughs> oh, COVID. We broke a post. So this is it. Look. We have went in. Not very far. All these lines where we go in. There's the proof in the pudding. Look, what do you see? <coughs> what do you see? We are in. In about 10 millimeters. Well, not 10 millimeters there, but five there. Five, five. Upwards of seven, eight. Between five and ten millimeters. Look, all them lines, if you watch, as the guy said earlier in the video, look at all them nicks. That's what made it go in. It is going to protect it. It's not going to protect it indefinitely. That's for sure. Look, again. So that's the test over now, guys. What did you think? I enjoyed it. It was originally to happen <coughs> over three weeks because of the way the week three and week four for both the base, the standard post, <coughs> and the oil post, and then they gained again the second. So let's actually just look at that. The biggest difference was the, the week one, 0.8 uh, to the charred post. It was 0.6, so I set so week two. Uh, oil took on the most because it took on the least the last time. Uh, week three, char took on the most, and uh, week four, <coughs> char took on the least. Them two was tied. Uh, yeah, I think given enough time. They're always going to fill up the water. They're always going to absorb the same amount. What I hear is, I don't know, underground, above ground, this is where it breaks every time. So, when it's all said and done, which post would you put in the ground? Standard? Treated by the timber company, the post manufacturer. What's this one? Oil. Dipped in waste oil. If I just want to dip it in waste oil and had <coughs> sorry. If I just want to dip this in waste oil and I had both the time and the money, I would dip it in waste oil engine waste engine oil and mix 50-50 with diesel. Because it would dilute down and probably soak into it more. I wasn't going to do that because I was only ever going to be dipping them. I needed them. If you watch the start of the video, I needed them. So I, I, I measured it out every two weeks. <coughs> Obviously, the longer the better. Let it soak through. Anyway, or the char. I'm going to do a thumbnail here. What do you think? What else can we do? <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. Sorry, <coughs> sorry, I've got the cold or the COVID. But thanks for watching, and uh, I'm gonna spin you around to show you what you're in for next week, where we resume building a homestead. See if you notice it. Where's my hedge? I forgot to mention. Any comments? <coughs> I forgot, forgot to mention. Any comments? Write it in the comment section below. And I'll try and get back to you. Thanks for watching. See you in the field.